to quickly crack on, have you guys heard this news? Courtesy of NBC News about this ex Florida State footballer called Travis Rodolfo, who's been found not guilty in the murder case. I've been following it for a bit here and there via little clips I've seen of the court case on social media. And the first thing that caught my attention was Travis Rodolfo's ex girlfriend, who basically sparked the whole unfortunate events that basically led to her brother dying. But essentially, the story goes this former NFL player was going out with that woman. Um, and they got into some sort of argument on the way home. The argument turns somewhat physical. And then the woman goes back home and gets her brothers and her brother's friends to basically come back to this guy's home and terrorize him. And in the kind of terrorizing process and pushing and shoving and yelling and all the man stuff and the fighting for a little bit, suddenly um, weapons were drawn. And in the exchange of weapons being drawn, this Travis Rodolfo manages to kill one of the people that came to his house to basically try and fuck him up. Um, the thing that was a bit sketchy for him was that, if I'm not mistaken, this guy who's a football player, so he's the one that's at home. So him and a girlfriend come back to his place. Him and his girlfriend get into an argument. The girlfriend goes away, gets her brother to come to his house. And then they get into a fight. But I think the thing that was, get, I thought that would be an issue for him was that when he he kind of left his house chasing them with his gun. So they had already left. So they kind of did what they did. They beat him up or they got into a tussle and a fight outside of his house. He was trying to fight, him, he was trying to fight against I think like three or four people or whatever it was. And then in that tussle, um, the guys then left and jumped in their car or were running away, whatever they were doing. And then this guy goes into his house and gets his gun and then goes and chases after him. So I was thinking, you know, from my like lane man's knowledge of flipping American law, that he would have an issue because he's kind of chasing them as they're leaving his home. So they're kind of trying to get away. He's chasing them from behind and then shooting. I thought that'd be wild. And then I heard a tidbit from the court case that he let off like 40 shots, which sounds a little bit excessive. So I thought maybe he might be in trouble in that regard. But the one thing that was very clear was that the ex-girlfriend played a really really big role in the unfortunate events that led to her brother passing away and her inability to i don't know keep her emotions in check maybe not go and quickly run to the brother maybe be able to tell the story as a bit more of an honest portrayal and just not be a fucking um you know a bad person in that instant basically led to this event happening where her brother passed away and in a worst scenario this guy could have ended up literally in jail on life sentences and stuff so i'm happy he was found not guilty on the case because he didn't he should have been found guilty because they brought the smoke to his house and he kind of dealt with it in the only way that he probably could have but it's just a really sad situation all around because you know the girl's ex-girlfriend's brother died like people are kind of forgetting that like a man lost his life because he went to try and defend his sister essentially you know like fucking crazy so ex the state footballer travis uh, rodolfo found not guilty of murder case courtesy of nbc news it says here a florida jury agreed on wednesday that former florida state footballer acted in self-defense when a fatal shot when he fatally shot sorry one man and injured another several hours after he got in the scuffle with his girlfriend travis rodolfo 27 was found not guilty of one count of first degree murder three counts of attempted murder by a palm beach county jury in palm beach uh report uh, the palm beach post reported the 12 member panel also chose not to convict rodolfo on lesser offenses including second degree murder and manslaughter so he got off on all five in charges rodolfo was first arrested in april 2021 after four men went to his home several hours after he fought his girlfriend investigated said at some point rodolfo armed himself with a semi-automatic rifle and opened fire on them as they drove away killing sebastian john Trix, jean jack sorry and wounding tyler robinson rodolfo testified that the men were armed and shooting back at him investigators said that they were never found evidence of the fleeing men returning fire which is pretty wild but the the really sad and sickening thing was how manipulative narcissistic and downright evil the sister was on the stand she was basically trying to make up lies in a scenario where in this scenario that Travis Rodolfo guy was hitting her outside of her home which justified her going and telling her brothers to go and fuck him up but then i think the prosecution was trying to get her to kind of admit that she you know she wanted them to go there with violence in mind lethal violence and she was trying to argue or trying to lie and trying to make it spin or spin the story in a way that she didn't say that she just said that she wanted them to go give him a visit or some nonsense like it's a really sad story all around to be fair 
This basically destroyed the family, this nonsense the affair they got into. It continues to said Rodolfo State Rodolfo was Florida State leading receiver in twenty fifteen and twenty sixteen. He left the team nearly early to enter the NFL draft in twenty seventeen. He eventually signed with the New York Giants. Duh, 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 duh. He gained national attention in twenty sixteen with a bit of him eating a lunch with autistic kid. Blah 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 blah. So I'm happy for the dude, um, really am, because the charges were fucking crazy, and clearly it was an act of self-defense, even though I think the idea of like chasing somebody down the street with a semi-automatic rifle, shooting them after they've left, and then getting away with it, is kind of wild optics, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's kind of wild optics, you know what I mean, I know they come to your house to fuck you up, which, which I kind of like in some ways actually, that, that side of American law, where your house is like sovereign land, like that's kind of like your humble abode and if anybody steps on your property in your house or tries to threaten you in your own home in any way shape or form you can go as far as need be to make sure that threat never comes back again like there is no like there is no second chances if you try and you know accost somebody in their house fight them whatever it may be on their grounds they can do whatever needs be to protect themselves their friends and their family I kind of like that, you know? I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. But the optics of it are wild. The guys are running away. There's no evidence of fire, of gunshots going backwards. Um, and he just got out, he just pulled out a strap and murked and tried to murk everybody, basically. <laughs> he only hit one. He only, you know, killed one and hit another one who's injured. But wow. But still, happy for him, mostly because the ex girlfriend sounded like a fucking bitch. So I think, you know, she basically is the one suffering the most and will probably end up getting served in the civil courts you're imagining um with whether the you know in terms of the role that she played in the whole affair but yeah um bang your doors travis rudolph bang your doors to quickly update what i've been talking about for a while on my flipping streams here regarding brendan Shaw cancelling his flipping uk date there's been an actual update courtesy of people but courtesy of people who were uh, Oh, so sorry, what am I saying? Let me rewind here. What were you saying in the chat? Patrick Emerson is telling me it was his brother that was getting beaten up outside. And it was a sister's brother's friend, not her brother. Bro, you're getting the story. Okay, cool. Okay, um, Patrick Emerson. So the couple get into an argument, right? Here we are from right here. So Travis Rudolph and the ex-girlfriend get into an argument. Physical altercation ensues. The girl then goes to phone her brother to go and, what, fuck up the boyfriend, right? Am I still right there? Who then gets there? The brother his fr and his friends. So in that scuffle, the friends then fight, what, one of Travis Rudolph's brothers, not him directly. And then Travis Rudolph, in an attempt to defend his brother, he then pulls out the strap. Is that what you're trying to say? Maybe that's the part I'm getting mixed up. Ah, okay. It doesn't. It doesn't change the story much, though, does it? Really? Not really, because he was defending his brother, right? In that case, what does it do and change the story? It doesn't change it that much, really. Still, the the point of the person who's really at fault, I think, is that. Oh, okay, Patrick. I see what you mean. They pulled the brother out of the house. Yes, that's a, that's you're right. You're absolutely right. My my bad. That's the detail I'm forgetting. They pulled the brother out of the house. I remember this. Okay, cool. That's a big big point you're making there. Um, still, I think for me the point of contention is always going to be the sister, the sister like doing the most and basically spinning it. Because if I'm not if I'm if I'm not mistaken, she spun it like Travis Rudolph hit her. But so far, the footage that everyone's been able to see from the ring camera, there's been no evidence to show that he actually assaulted her. If anything, she was the one that was assaulting him. He was trying to like keep her off her or whatever, keep her off him. But he wasn't. He didn't strike her with an open hand, closed fist, nothing. He was just trying to like keep her away from hitting her, hitting him. So she really fucked up because she's the one that went back to her brothers and said that he beat her. So I don't blame the brothers for going and defending their sister anyone would do that do you know what i mean that's a that's a really evil and dark and sickening side of it what the sister did like she got her brothers or her brother's friends murked basically you know what i mean like by um crying wolf and acting like the husband or the sorry the boyfriend at the time was beating her up when he wasn't and of course on top of that she was also if i'm not mistaken in a relationship like she was like cheating on her fucking guy that she was with with this guy do you know what i mean it's just like a whole entire mess man 
really, 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 really entire mess. Um, Case of Moses says she's not getting a conspiracy charge. Yeah, she's not getting it, but I heard something like she could get tried in a civil suit or something, if that's possible. I'm not too sure, but that's what I've heard. Um, but yeah, I'm happy for Travis Rudolph. Hopefully, he's able to bounce back from it. I've seen clips of him celebrating, um, playing fucking little Dirk songs and dancing, having a good time drinking. I don't blame the guy, man. He was facing, like, what is it, free life sentences or some shit. So, you know, he should be bloody enjoying himself and having a good time because, you know, it could have gone really, really badly. So, congrats to him. But again, still, it's not really congrats because loads of people's lives have been, you know, changed forever because of one stupid lover's fucking tiff and quarrel. It's just so unfortunate. But anyway, we move. 